Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today, we both have Rhyperia. That is hilarious. But today, we ironically have a Rhyperia um, based team. The team is built around Rhyperia. And it's gonna pair up with the homie Alchemy. And we're gonna see what we can get popping, okay? Rhyperia is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But unfortunately, he has not one, but two four times weaknesses in both grass and water. Meaning, if I if someone even drops a single blade of grass on me, or sprays me with a water gun, I die. So basically, um, we're gonna see if now in Generation Nine he can be good, because he can not have those weaknesses. He also has a plethora of other weaknesses, just regular two times weaknesses um, due to his rock and ground typing. So yeah, basically defensively, as bulky as he is on the defensive side, he can be pretty frail on the special side. Um, so we're gonna see if we can just get some dubs with him today. Anyways, after the longest intro ever, I have 20 seconds, what are we doing? Um... My special attackers look really good here, at least that one specifically. They don't have Intimidate, which is pretty awesome. But I still like Kilo to maybe outspeed that, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Intimidate's not gonna do much, especially if they're mirror armor. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like that. The Kilowattro is uh, essentially a anti-Incineroar mon. Um, Incineroar is everywhere, and Incineroar is very annoying. I'm surprised Incineroar is not on Kyle's team. Oh, love the picture with Lacey. Lacey's the homie. But, um... Yeah. Surprised he's not here, but I'm kind of happy he's not here. So, real cool thing is that since I am a Rock-type currently, I don't really care about the, uh... Sand. I might tear because I don't necessarily want to take an iron head or anything weird like that. But if I tear a bug, which is my terror by the way, um, then the rock type moves from Tita are gonna hurt. So I'm gonna stay in this form for now. I'm gonna go for the decorate and I'm gonna go for the uh, I'm tempted to high horsepower, but I can definitely see a terror coming out here. So at the same time, like, hmm, maybe I should, uh, do something else. I'm gonna play it safe for now and just go for the high horsepower. They could... Oh. Split damage, yeah, I take that pretty well. Yo, that was way too close. Way too close. We still get off the decorate, thankfully. And as long as I hit, Titar is gone. Unless it's sashed. I do hit. And Titar is out of here. Yes, sir. Now it's a bit safer to go. Do I live the Sandstorm chip? I do. Cool. So now it's safe to go for the Terra, potentially. That's awesome. So I'm going to bring out Earth here. I expect an Earth power into the Rhyperior. But we got to play. So I'm going to go for the Decorate again if I can. Now I kind of have the Terra. And I guess I, I'm just going to Ice Punch, I suppose. Either way, it'll do nice chip. Either way, it'll do nice chip. So I am going to start taking damage from the Sandstorm, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to see what they want to go for here. Got them thinking. Oh, they're going to tear as well. It's probably going to be the Earth. I did play it safe and just go for the Ice Punch. Terra Fairy, okay. To be expected. I possibly should have went for the High Horsepower, knowing they were going to Terra, but just trying to play it safe. We're going to both go ahead and get our Terras off. <clears throat> What's cool about this team is I do have the Sinistra in the back to recover any damage the Rhyperior takes. It'd be cool if I can get off another uh, Decorate, but I doubt it. Highly doubt it. Nice. Take that pretty dang well. They're going to get the defense boost, though, which sucks. Nice. I get off another Decorate. This Ice Punch is not going to feel good. Even though it's not super effective anymore. That's huge. And then EP. Yep. Saw that coming, baby. Saw that coming. Woo! Huge damage. Unfortunately, I don't get the kill, and that, that bear outspeeds me. But, now I get to bring in the homie because of Sandstorm. That Sandstorm actually helped me. That Sandstorm helped me. I'm going to tell you why. Watch this. 
Because before, I had no way to redirect the, um, the, Ursa, the Ursa Luna's attack. And now I do. So this is actually great for us. And I'm honestly just going to go for Ice Punch again because, it, believe it or not, is my only 100% accurate move on my Rhyperior. Every other one of my moves is um, under 100% accuracy. And we, everyone who plays Pokemon knows that when a move says 80% accuracy, it's more like 50. So this is more like 85. This is like 70. Like, honestly. Anyone who plays Pokemon knows this. So we're just going to go for Ice Punch again. Guaranteed to take out the, uh, the homie here. Did I go for the right... Uh, Hold up. I'm a little high right now, so I want to make sure I'm not... I'm not sure what I hit the first time, but Rage Proud is what I need to hit. Um, and then we just Ice Punch here. Yeah, that's safe. That's safe, baby! Bring those attacks over here, boy! Drill Pack's gonna hurt. I do eat. Nice! Nice. He knew Blood Moon was going to kill even if it redirected, but all I needed it to do was redirect for that one turn. That is literally all I needed. So, big ice punch, this thing's gone. Get this guy on up out of here. This is a very, very close battle. Very, very, very close battle. I'm going to take Sandstorm Chip, which is unfortunate. I got Kilo, and they already Terrored. I've got Kilo, and they already Terra, so this Corviknight is in some deep doo-doo. Our Chalodon's here, wee bit scary, but they already Terra it again, so you're, that's just a high horsepower. So, Thunderbolt, high horse, and dub? Are we getting the dub in the very first battle with my dog, Rhyperior? Look how, look how big and imposing he is over there. He's like a mountain with a face. I love Rhyperior. I'm so happy I get to showcase him today. Honestly, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Like, right, I always thought Rhydon was cool back in Gen 1. But when I saw Rhyperior, all that... Nice, one shot. All that went out the window. Kilo's a beast. All that went out the window. Rhyperior is so cool. I'm gonna eat that. Because I'm him? Okay. If I missed that, we would have been in deep doo-doo, but luckily Rhyperior brought his glasses today. And we're hitting the high horsepower is easy. And that's a dub in battle number one. That is amazing. What a start to the video, man. GG to my opponent. Kyle brought the heat, man. Um, definitely. Ironically, he had a right as well, but didn't bring it. It's kind of funny. But um, he made the battle very, very difficult. And just made for, honestly, some great contests. So thank you, Kyle. Um, GG's. Uh, but yeah, you guys kind of saw what the team is about. Uh, we basically... Defensively tear our Rhyperior when we need to and only when we need to. We get off the uh, Decorate. I even have Aromatic Mist, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it boosts your partner's special defense by one stage. So you all know Rhyperior's biggest weakness is his special D. So we got the homie Alchemy that can not only boost his attack stat, but can also boost his defenses. This combo can be very, very scary, as you guys saw in the first game. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into another one. I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so we are back against Juan, and unfortunately, we have to go up against another Blood Moon Ursaluna. So, that'll be fun. Um, anywho, we're gonna go ahead and get things poppin' with the same duo here. Again, no Intimidate. I bring the Intimidate Destroyer, and now all of a sudden no one brings Incineroar. And ironically, I have one. Speaking of which, do we bring him? They got my Lodic, they got Blood Moon, they got a lot of things that could put the hurt into my Incineroar, so I don't know about that one. Uh, definitely want to bring the Sinistra. I think these three are always going to come on the team. These two are obviously what, you know, makes the team work. It's the whole reason, the whole entire team is built around this combo. This thing can redirect attacks away from my Superior and give me health back, and just be annoying. And then we got the homies. So which one of the homies are we going to pick? That is the question. Let's see... Speed control is pretty great. They have really no speed control unless they have Icy Wind on that um, Alolan uh, Ninetales. This is difficult. Scizor, how are you looking? Scizor looks pretty damn good. But Scizor or Kilo? That's really where I'm at right now. I think I'm going to go Scizor. I think I'm going to go Scizor for this one, y'all. 
I hope that's the right choice, but bullet punch looks like it can be uh, messing some people up. So, let's see what we can do, man. That first battle was incredible, dude, honestly. I believe his name was Kyle. Kyle, thank you for that, man. Great battle that was. Hopefully this one can live up to the hype as well. Okie dokie! They were probably hoping I was going to lead Ensign. No sir, no Ensign here. I promise you that thing is Guard Dog and they wanted me to lead Ensign. Not today, home slice. Anyways, we got a Fighting type and a Psychic type on the field. Alright, so I'm going to... Fighting and Poison, my bad. They can bop my Alchemy immediately. So getting off a of Decorate is the biggest thing right now. So we're going to Decorate my Perrier. I could Terra. On the off chance, they go for the fighting type move into me. But do I want to Terra this early? That's the question. I could also just one-shot the Crest. Ooh, Crest is not going to like that Mega Horn. That's all I'm saying, bro. Let's go for the... Let's do this. Let's do this. I was like, better safe than sorry. I'll get the Terra off. If it's too early, it's too early. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to take a bunch of damage for no reason. I feel like they're going to go into the um, Alchemy. I just hope I can attack before they kill me. If they kill Alchemy before I can get an attack off, that's fine. You're still going to go down to this. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, and bulk up. Okay. So I tear it for no reason, which is a wee bit unfortunate, but that's fine. That's fine. So essentially, this is a neutral high horsepower, assuming it lands. Because they have Reflect and they have the bulk up, so it's essentially neutral. <laughs> no way! Right there, you're the GOAT! Wow! Wow! Stop playing with him! Stop playing with him! Oh my goodness! The GOAT! The GOAT! They don't know what to do. They're thinking like, what the heck is going on? You, you know what it is! They're gonna Blood Moon me. They are a thousand percent gonna Blood Moon me. What are the odds I outspeed that thing? I'm gonna go for the Aromatic Mist. Get my, get my, what's it called up? And, ooh, what do I just wanna, ah! I kind of want to just decorate again. This is tough, because they, kn they know our peer is a threat now. They have no doubt in their mind this mod is a threat. I think Aromatic Mist is the play, low key. And honestly, just nuke this thing. Because why not? So I'm not going to one-shot the Earth regardless, so I'm going to try and nuke the Crest. They're going to Terra what I would imagine would be the Earth. I tear it a little too early, unfortunately. I could have really got them with the... Oh, this is going to be a Blood Moon. Yeah, I don't think I take this. Not going to lie, I do not think I take this, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, they want to ensure... They want to ensure they get the KO here. Oh, I get this off first! You know how huge that is? Oh, I can't believe I move first. That's huge. And it's a Hyper Voice. I eat. I 100% eat. I think we both do. Yup, we both eat. Easy, too. And we missed the Mega Horn. Awesome. That really sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So, what I'd like to do here is... Go out into the homie. I'm not going to Mega Horn again. I'm just going to go for the high horsepower into the Earth. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the same move twice. Come on now. I really wish Mega Horn connected here. Connected there. That would have been sick. They're gonna go into the Nine Tails. Luckily, they can't go for the uh, Aura Veil since Reflect is up. Because you cannot stack those moves. So I'm gonna go back in, get some health for the homie. Okay. Love to see it. He's gonna go for another Hyper Voice. Which I take pretty dang well. High horsepower does connect and does nice damage. All right, so I gotta I gotta do a little science experiment here because ah, but that freaking nine tails could just kill me. So what I was thinking is since this thing outsped the blood moon, 
My Sinistra is faster than my Alchemy, so I would outspeed the Blood Moon. I can get off a Macha Gacha. But, unfortunately, um, I do have a play, actually. I have a play. We're going to swap into Scizor. Because that resists the, the Blizzard and it resists the uh, Hyper Voice. And I'm going to try and finish off this Urse. They, if they were smart, they can go for the what's it called? Oh man, missing would suck, but we gotta send it. I have to go for the Stone Edge just in case they switch into Crest on that slot. I know it's like a hella over prediction, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. What? You can stack Reflect and oh, I thought you couldn't do that. I would do it. I was like 99% sure you couldn't do that. And I don't even eat, so it doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? Critical hit on Rhyperior. Of course. I would have ate that. I would have ate that. Critical hit on Rhyperior. Because of course it was. Of course it was. This is a wild game. And I'm not having a good time. So, what we're going to do now... This is absurd. This is absolute absurdity. Well, I only have one idea right now. This thing's a bigger threat, though. That's the issue. I should outspeed. I definitely outspeed, but I don't know if I kill. This will, though. Let's do that. And I'll recover. Bright powder! Bitch! Bitch! Let's go! Bright powder! Ha <laughs> ha! Bright Powder out for me, coming in the clutch. Blood Moon's out of here, and we're getting off a reflect. Y'all did my dog right here, you're dirty, but it's all gravy. It's all gravy, and bring me that health back, too. And bring me that health back, too. Ho. Ho. And all I gotta do now is switch out and switch back in. Essentially. So I do have a little bit of a play, I hope. I'm gonna go for this first, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big brain play right here. This game is not over, unfortunately, but I do have a play here. Ouch! See, that I didn't expect. That I did not expect. And they're gonna psychic the homie here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So they don't really have anything to touch my scissor. Which is really good news for us. Really good news for us. Yeah, because I know exactly what I want to do here. I know exactly what I want to do here. I can't believe you can aura veil. Unless the aura veil wore off. I have to look that up after this game. Anyways, um, bullet punch into your face and decorate. Nice. I was hoping they didn't protect. Nice. Beautiful. And now because of the decorate, even though that's a crest, this bullet punch is not going to feel good. So they're immediately targeting the scissor knowing I'm doing big damage out here in these streets. There's the decorate. Dude, this team is broken! Oh my gosh, bro. I cannot... Oh. I build the best teams on YouTube, man. I really don't care what anyone has to say about that. I'm just saying. It's a fact. It's a fact. This is gonna hurt. And the next one's gonna hurt even more. That... Yo, this crest is so bulky. That's smart, but I get off another decorate. Which is... You need two reflex to basically neutralize my damage at all. I'm still- I'm not gonna do as much to you, but I'm still gonna do way more than the last one did. So, the Reflect was cute, but... I guess you can, yeah, because they just reflected while Orvale was up. That's so crazy. Anyways, Bullet Punch and Decorate again. They really think they can win here. Wow! And that's plus four Scizor, baby! Tell Nurse Joy I said what's good! Yo, we going crazy. We is going bananas with the Rhyperior team, okay? Let's go on the ranks ladder. Let's go, baby. Stop playing with the kid, man.
And to be honest, even though it didn't work, you gotta admit that was a big brain play to swap out the Scizor, who was locked into close combat with my defenses compromised, to get in the Sinistra, and the plan was to hit the aromatic, uh, whatever the hell that Alchemy has, to give it a special defense boost, meaning it could possibly take a Blizzard, get off a of Macha Gacha, and start messing them both up. It didn't work because of the Moon Blast, but I like what happened way better anyways. What a battle and what content we are getting in this video, man. You know we're going 3-0. After these two battles, we cannot lose. Impossible. We're going to go ahead and hop into a third. I am on cloud nine. This team, I love Rhyperior, man. And I was so worried, like, this team was not going to do well. Because Rhyperior is already a hard mod, even with Terra. It's not the easiest mod to use. And then we're on the ranks ladder as well. These people are really, really good. So I'm just really, really happy this team is, um, you know, performing and just doing real well. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get into battle number three. See you in a second. Ah. <sighs> If you look on the other side of the field, you'll know exactly why I'm sighing. I see some very annoying Pokemon. So, not the end of the world. All this means is that... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Rhyperior is probably not a good idea here, I'm going to be honest. We know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to go for the Toxic... Who's exploding, though? Is I think Garganak was exploding. So, probably Explosion Garganackle with Toxic Orb, Endor, Tatsugiri into the Dondozo, bring in the Flamigo for the co-star. Now, how do we stop that? And yes, I just read their entire strategy just from the six Pokemon they bring. But how do we stop that? That's the million dollar question. We lead Alchemy regardless. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. And then what we can do is bring you and you in the back. And since we couldn't bring the Rhyperior, this pretty much guarantees we're going for a fourth because this team is based around the Rhyperior, but he is not going to do anything for us in this battle. Unless I can get to like plus four. Like if I can get up two decorates, then sure. But even then, with this thing at plus two, it's all about taking it down as quickly as possible. Um, plus two to every stat, by the way. Um, it's all about taking this thing down as quickly as possible, and Rhyperior is not the guy for that. So we're gonna, this is the first time, I think, ever in my channel's history that I built a team around a Pokemon and then didn't bring it to a battle. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say it's the first time ever. So... The Tatsu can definitely be Covert Cloak. But I doubt the Garg is. You think the Garg is going to go Terra Ghost? Ah, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? I mean, the, making them burn their Terra would not be the worst thing in the world with a Sinistra and a Kilowattro on the back. So I don't hate that. I think we... I think we decorate in, in Sin and fake out this thing. Because I have a feeling... Oh no, it's gonna be Toxic Orb. It's gonna be Toxic Orb. But I still don't wanna get exploded on. Oh, crap. I didn't know that Endor went before Fake Out. I might have just cost us this game. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because... Oh, no, it is, it is, it is. Damn it! I was, I was thinking it was like a focus sash. I'm like, oh, I broke the sash. But no, it's still gonna get the Endora. off. And this explosion's still gonna hurt. I literally knew what they wanted to do and I fell for it. I'm so mad, bro. I mean, it didn't do much, but... I can't believe I fell for that. All I had to do was fake out the stupid rock. Oh, that's annoying. It's annoying, it's annoying, it's annoying. Okay. In comes Don Dozo. In comes... Alright, I have a play. I have a play. I'm a little annoyed, but I gotta play. Dang it, that's stupid. It's gonna outspeed me, too. I really don't like that. If I fake it out, or if I... If I hit the baby doll eyes and go for the parting shot... We can bring it back to neutral, and then just start nuking it. I don't hate that. I really don't hate that. 
They're taking a long time to make their decision. I should have faked out the stupid Gargada, and I literally told myself that. Then I convinced my- I, I forgot- I did not know, and I even forgot. I literally just didn't know, and Door outspeeds Fake Out. If I knew that, I fake out the Garganacle every single time. I, I literally call what they wanted to do from the freaking screen where they display the teams. And Flamigo's gonna come in on this next turn to copy all the boost. We gotta do something ASAP Rocky here. So, Baby Doll Eyes. To survive an attack, I have to go Terra Grass. That's the only issue. Or I can just hard switch into something. Like this, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I literally hate this so much. Alright. So, he could Earthquake. That'd be interesting. So, basically, the Baby Doll Eye is going to bring him to plus one attack, which is much more manageable. He is going to Earthquake, which Sinisho should take pretty well. Alchemy did not take it well at all. It got a crit on Alchemy. Of course it did. Because why wouldn't it? And in comes the... I can't believe I knew what they wanted to do! And I let it happen because I didn't know how Endure worked. This is so irritating. Can we pull ourselves out though? That's a million dollar question. <clears throat> Honestly, I kind of have an idea. They're gonna bring out the, uh, what's it called? I kind of have an idea. Oh my gosh, this guy takes forever to make decisions. I can't believe I- I'll, I'll, if I don't win, I will never forgive myself for that. Ever. Ever! Endure goes before fake out. You learn something new every day, folks. Finally makes the decision, we know it's gonna be Flamigo. I don't know why it took you 45 years to come to that conclusion. It's only at plus one, it's in the end of the world. I'm gonna bring you a, even further down, I think. So at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to take out the Flamigo than it is to take out Don Dozo. So let's bring your attack down more. And I think I have to Terra here. And Macha. Try and get a burn on something. I think that's the play. I think that is the play! And the whole reason I'm going for the Terra here is so that Brave Bird doesn't just one-shot me. Because that... Plus one Brave Bird should not one-shot me. I hope. Maybe I should have uh, done that to- Oh, it goes for- Oh, it does go for me. It- Oh my goodness. Oh no, I think we lose here, unfortunately. Or do we? I think we do. That sucks so bad. If I went for that onto the- Two mistakes in this battle. Two. Two mistakes in this battle, man. I can't believe I let that happen, bro. I am playing like trash. Two mistakes in the same freaking battle. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I kind, I kind of have an idea. I think. I kind of have an idea. <clears throat> this will be the craziest comeback in comeback history. But considering I've been playing like Cheeks and I've gotten crit twice, I don't have a lot of faith. What is that? Chill out. Oh my gosh. This is a minus one earthquake, if I'm not mistaken. Still almost kills me. Um, I think we lose regardless, but... Gotta try! Let me get a crit! No crits. They, Of course, they can get two crits in a row, but I can't get any. That's cool. 
That's cool. Hold on, wait a minute here. Wait just one second. I think we still lose, but I don't know. A crit. A crit might be able to save us here. Is he locked into EQ? Hold up now. Wait a minute, has he only been going- have I not noticed he's only been going for EQ? No way. There's no way. There's no way. Chill out. CHILL OUT! CHILL OUT! <laughs> no way, the crit! Yo! Yo! This video... This one, this... I have no words. I have no words. Where do we- where do we begin? Where do we begin? Where do we begin? Alright, everybody shut up. Check me out. Check me out! From Team Preview, I peeped what bro wanted to do. It was peeped, it was seen, it was notated, okay? It was understood. We hop in the battle, my dumbass didn't know that Endure has higher priority than freaking Fake Out. Who knew? I do now, but it was a little too late at the time. So anyways, I Fake Out into the Tatsugiri thinking I'm gonna stop it from going for the Endure, therefore that weak ass explosion kills it, but we're chilling. And basically they can't do the Flamigo strat and they can't even combine the ta to the Tatsu and the uh, Dondozo. Well obviously Endure goes first, we all see what happens. And then that's the first bad play. Second bad play, I kind of forgot what it was. What was the second bad play? I just remember saying, oh damn, another bad play. I forgot. If y'all remember, Kudos. If you don't, go back and check it out. I know as soon as I did it, I was like, dang, two bad plays in a row. But then I made another bad play. So on top of playing bad, I get crit twice in the same battle. That takes out my mom on both occasions, I believe. No, Alchemy didn't die. The Alchemy didn't die, but it did a bunch of damage. And then it crit my freaking, um... I forgot, but it crit something else. I'm forgetting a lot, but y'all know what I'm saying. Bad luck is everywhere. RNG is screwing me. I'm playing bad. We bring it back. Finally, literally at the last second, get a crit of our own and we're able to take back the battle. I think that Nondoza was choiced into something. I really, really do. Anyways, I talked long enough. Let's hop into a fourth. I am so hyped. After these three wins, there's no way we lose a fourth battle. We're going 4-0. Speak it into existence. Let's get it. See you. We are back for our fourth and final battle here. And um, I do really want to bring the Rhyperior... Oh my gosh, Urshifu is so irritating in like a thousand different ways. Um, they can lead a lot of things. I'm just going to lead these two and hope for the best. They have so many different lead lead potentials, I'm not going to overthink it. Now for, I think we always bring you. Especially with Amoongus and some other annoying threats like the Urshifu out there. This thing completely walls water Urshifu, which is cool. We need one more like presence here. I do kind of like Scizor, not really, never mind. I like Incineroar. I like Incineroar a lot. Yeah, we'll bring the Incin. These battles are not getting any easier, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you what! But, um, yeah. We're gonna see what we can do here in our fourth and final. Gonna love to go undefeated with the Rhyperior team. All right, he looks like a sailor with a cool mask. Of course, it's Ursh. Now, if I Terra, I can I should be able to eat a surging strike, so I can just kill that thing. Is that the vibes though? Because then I'm gonna start taking super effective damage from that stupid Bleak Wind. Decisions, decisions. Ooh, if I do that, they really can't touch me. That's a play. That is a play. We'll do that. I don't hate that at all. Decorate. And swap into Sin. 
Easy peasy lemon McSqueezies. Please hit me. Please hit me. With a surging. Hit me with that surging, please. I thought they were going to go into alchemy and ruin my day. Yes! Got your ass! Got your silly ass, boy! Yes, sir. Weak. You are weak, sir. And guess what? Yep, you already know. Yes, sir. And next turn, I just Terra and Matcha Gotcha. That's all. That's all she wrote, folks. Are we going to have the Sinister Sweet? I think it's Sinister Sweet. Sinister Sweet time. Because we're going to go for the Aromatic Mist. Get your special defense up now. Hit the Terra button. Hit the Matcha Gotcha. And get to work. That's it. That's all, baby. That's all, baby. That Urshifu better be protecting. That Urshifu better be protecting. He doesn't. Oh, you're bold, my good sir. You are bold. As long as I can eat this Bleak Wind, which I'm assuming is coming next. Um, I, I just don't know if I eat the Bleak Wind. You know, you can miss Tornadus. That'd be cool. Please, finish up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wowzers. 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 Goodbye. Stop playing with me. Give me all that health back, please. Give me it all. Give me it all. And wait till you see what I'm going for next. Wait till you see what I'm going for next. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with it. They're like, what is Aromatic Mist? That's what it is, boy. That's what it is. I didn't know what it was either until I started diving into what uh, Alchemy's uh, movesets are. I was on Bulbapedia, and I was like, what on earth is this? And I was like, oh, this would be perfect for Iberia. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, I don't think, in this battle, in this video. But, um, yeah, it's a really cool tech. Really cool technique. The Amungarudo. Uh-oh. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate again. I don't outspeed, that's the issue. Ugh. I think I Aromatic Mist again. And just make make the Sinisha impossible to um, kill. And then I shall... I could Scald their Shadow Ball here. I'm going to Scald this thing. So they could Spore... They could Spore the uh, Sinisha all they want. Double miss. Oh, and we're cooking different. We are cooking different right now. <laughs> what a way! What a way to end the honestly do we do <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh! What a way to end battle number four! I really want to go for another one, dude. What on earth is this? fucking video man the dude rage quit oh it's beautiful by the way plus two terra water scald was doing way too much damage oh my goodness i had the biggest smile on my face that was supposed to be the last battle which was supposed to be the third battle in reality but neither time did Rhyperia really do anything so we are all right this next battle which will be our fifth will be the last battle so um, yeah, I'm gonna shut up. Fifth and final. Regard Rhyperior already proved his goatness in the first two battles. If we can get him in the fifth, great. If we can't, it is what it is. This will be our last battle. Let's get it. All right, I'm, I'm on cloud 10 after that last battle. That was so funny. Anyways, neutralizing gas. That is annoying. That is very annoying. How do we want to counteract that? First of all, who here can just bop that uh, that homie over there? I know you can. Because we're trying to one-shot the Weezing as quickly as possible. That's honestly the, the goal here. So, our period doesn't have too many threats besides the Flutter and the uh, Ogre Pond. Not too worried about Lando, to be honest. One Ice Punch, I think is gone. Uh, Alright, so we lead Alchemy regardless. 
I like a special attacker because that's what Weezing is weak on, is special side. And I just want to get that thing out of here as quickly as possible. So we can do that. You definitely have a place here. And I kind of feel like I have to bring Sinisha to pair with Rhyperior, no? Scizor looks okay. Scizor looks great. We don't have a Flutter answer. I think we have to bring this thing strictly for Flutter. Yikes! This is going to be a sticky one, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Very sticky indeed. Very sticky indeed. Because I had to bring a Flutter answer. Like you, Flutter will take out your entire team if you, if you try to fuck around and find out. So, they're gonna lead Lando and the Ogre. That's kinda cool with me, honestly. Oh! I didn't even realize what I was doing here. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, okay. So I gotta be smart here. Baby doll eyes... You, I guess? And... Air Slash. They probably... Mm. Baby Doll Eyes, you. Air Slash, you. That's the play. Nice. Kinda saw that coming. Kinda saw that coming. And that's why we Baby Doll Eyes the Lando. So we can damage output a little bit. I do outspeed with the air slash. It's probably gonna go for a rock slide. It does. Doing a little bit less damage after the uh, what's it called? I'm gonna baby doll eyes again, and I'm locked into air slash. <clears throat> so we'll see what they want to do here. They could tear it, but it's still not gonna feel good. They might tear. They don't do anything. It's fine with me. I should be able to take another, uh, what's it called? Air Slash is gonna hurt. Air Slash is gonna kill. Fantastic. Big threat out the way. Big threat out the way. We'll see what Air Slash can do here. He rock slides again. He hits both targets. We do live another one. So if they have priority, that is rather unfortunate. It's just gonna be the wheezing, though. I'm gonna try and take that thing out right now. I'm not, gonna, not even gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna baby doll eyes again and air slash the Weezer. <clears throat> this team is so busted. Rhyperior snapping, freaking Sinister snapping, Kilowattro snapping, everybody is snapping. So big damage into the Weezing, which is great. So I think it's annoying. Rock Slide does connect on both targets, unfortunately, and that is going to be the end of that. It's going to Sludge Bomb me. Should eat. I do... I do get poisoned, though, which really sucks. What an unfortunate series of events that is. Do live on one, though, which we love to see. Um... I feel like we have to bring out the homie now. I don't think we have a choice. We'll save Scizor in the back, I think. <clears throat> I'm hoping Lan Lander stays in. I really am. I'm gonna try my best to get off and decorate. And I'm gonna go for the... That thing probably has Wisp, right? Really don't wanna get burned. Well, we know it's neutralizing gas, so let's go for this. I'm not worried about the land at minus, landers at minus three. Yep. Figured that was gonna happen. It's gonna try to reset its intimidate. Do I out. Ooh, that's scary. I do have Sizzler in the back, though. Protect. Good play. Good play. Good play, man. I'm not bad at all. Can I still get off my decorate? Can I take at least one attack from this flutter? Have they tarried yet? I don't think they have. 
I do not think they have Territy yet. So Alchemy does go down. The the one HP survival is incredibly clutch. Incredibly clutch. They have Lando in the back, which is terrifying. So I'm gonna bring out the Scizor here. Go for the Bolito on the Flutter. I lose my ability though, it sucks that stupid thing over there. Um, yeah, we're gonna target the Flutter down. And then High Horse. Oh, if they go into the what's it called though, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch over here. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch over here, predicting a p possible um, lander switch in here. Let's see if I get the read right. If I get the read right, I'm gonna go crazy. Because they can protect Flutter and switch into Lando. Oh, it is Terra the Flutter, okay. That is a play as well. Oh, I hope you're Sash, buddy. It might be. It definitely could be. It has to be Sash. It is, yep, figured. I go for the freaking, what's it called? I should take one gleam. Should take one gleam. Oh, too easy. They hit me with the Wisp, which means I'm not going to kill them with this what's it called, unfortunately. I will not kill them with this Ice Punch. I was predicting a what's it called. Oh! I was predicting. <laughs> I was predicting Lando switching. All right, so basically I'm at neutral damage. So I'm at plus two plus a burn. So I'm essentially neutral. I'm gonna bullet punch this because it can't move right now. And if you want to switch in homeboy to that slot to take it, then catch, it, catch an ice punch, I guess. Or, because it could protect. Yep. That's why I didn't double that slot. That is why I didn't double that slot. No, sir. Oh my gosh. Knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm sweating out here, baby. And I'm wrapping bars. And you're frozen solid. And catch a high horsepower. Please don't miss. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Viperior. Thanks for leaving your glasses at home. 90. The see what I said in the beginning of the video? 95% accurate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So now they see I'm going for high horsepower into the wheezing guy. I'm going to switch back into this, try and catch it off guard. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, actually. This is a win-win. This is a win-win right here. If you stay in, you die. If you switch into Lando, you catch an Ice Punch. What do you want to do? What you want to do? There it is! Come on, bro! Come on! There it is! There it is. If we can get homeboy to stay frozen, even better. Even better. He's like, ha, I got him now. Oh, snap. That kind of sucks. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, because if we take out the, um, the Lando here, we should still win. Bing bong. Saw that coming, baby. I saw that coming. It's too easy. And now I just pin your flutter. Now I just absolutely pin your flutter. And that's it. That is it. That is all I have to do is just pin your flutter, man. What a battle. We should, it's like 90% ours. It's like 90% ours. We pin the flutter, give it no chance to move, and we just high horsepower this thing. That's all we can do. They're gonna protect flutter. Try and do some meaningless damage with the wheezing, but there's nothing they can do. I, unless I, unless some weird stuff happens. Okay, they're good. All right, so now you're both vulnerable next turn. That's fine with me. Burn does takes a while to kill. I'll have you know. What a crazy battle this was. And missing that first high horsepower was some trash. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is it Lefty's wheezing? I forgot. I don't think... Oh, no, it's Citrus. It's Citrus. Okay. So it is going to stay at the health it's at. Flutter can do nothing except die. That's well, the best part of this whole scenario. So we we pin the Flutter again, and we, we get the Weezing with the high horsepower, hopefully. Hopefully Weezing pulled his glasses out of his pocket, out of one of those little rocks, 
his little rock belt there, pulled out some glasses so he can hit a damn 95% accurate move. That'd be nice. That'd be cool, Mr. Weezing. Or Mr. Uh, Rhyperior. They do not get the double protect. Flutter is gone. <clears throat> nice. You knew it was over. Bro, you knew this battle was not playing with me, bro. You knew the battle was over. Come on now. And what did I say when I was going to bring the Sinistra? What did I say? We have to bring a Flutter answer. Goodbye, Rhyperior, with the last KO of the game. We is done. Dunzo Lorenzo. Yeah, neutralizing gas is gone. Alex is gone. We out of here, baby. Let's go. Wow, what a way to end the video. What on earth? Two games. This last two games could have easily lost. We squeeze it out with Rhyperior. Wow. This... And I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm speaking boldly here, but I'm gonna say two things right now. I'm gonna say two things. One, I make the best Pokemon teams on YouTube. That's A. B, this might be my best video ever. I'm just saying, I'm gonna throw it out there. I know it's kind of crazy. I know it's kind of wild to say, but in my opinion, this might be my best video ever. I got to showcase a Mon that is not easy to use. And most people put him in Trick Room because he's slow as shit. I, as you, if you haven't noticed, in a hundred and almost 140 videos, you haven't seen one Trick Room team. Because A, it's way too hard to get your Pokemon speed IVs to zero. And B, refer to A. So that's basically the only reason I don't run Trick Room. So I knew I wanted to use Rhyperior, but I'm not a fan of Trick Room because of the reason I just listed. So I'm like, how can I use Rhyperior outside of Trick Room? And then boom, camp with this strat, this plan, make it as bulky as possible, give it a great defensive Terra, give it an Assault Vest, and just go crazy. And I couldn't have asked for a better showcase, man. Uh, I know this is probably a long video, so I'm going to go ahead and shut up now. You guys have been absolutely fantastic lately with the support. So I am once again going to ask for more of the love, man. If you can drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub, it would mean the absolute world to me. Honestly, in my opinion, the best video I've ever uploaded. I just had so much fun. I got these were Rhyperior, went undefeated on the ranks ladder um, in two very close final battles. My goodness, this battle's going to have gone either way. And yeah, just had a great time. Anyways, bunch more crazy content with where this came from. If you want to see off Metamons destroying the Regulation F rank ladder, stay put, subscribe, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. That's going to be it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.